Since its debut in April 2013, Flip or Flop has become one of HDTV's most popular shows. The premise is simple. Tarek and Christina El Moussa buy houses, renovate them, and sell them for a profit. But something almost always goes wrong, leading to the gripping drama of whether they will successfully flip the house by the end of the episode or not. Here's the untold truth of Flip or Flop. They made crazy sacrifices. When the housing market crashed in 2007, the couple had to drastically change their way of life, downsizing from a house with a $6,000 monthly mortgage payment to a $700 a month apartment with a roommate. Ever since the market crashed, it's been a rocky road. It wasn't easy, but as Tarek revealed in a moving Mother's Day Facebook post, it helped them form an unbreakable bond. The beginning of our relationship was very tough, and she rode the wave with me, never complaining about our situation. She was always by my side. She was filled with love even though we were struggling financially. The show is a hit. Back when they first started out, the couple was pinching pennies to make ends meet. But now Tarek and Christina make $10,000 per episode and boast an estimated net worth of $4 million. How? Well, the show is a massive rating success, topping the Thursday cable charts in August 2016 with a .75 rating and 2.864 million viewers. And that in turn has led to other opportunities for Tarek and Christina, such as their book Flip Your Life, which will offer practical lessons from their own experiences. Nice. The show saved Tarek's life. While watching a marathon of Flip or Flop, a registered nurse named Ryan Reed noticed a lump on Tarek's throat, prompting concern. They got an email from one of their viewers. When I was watching Flip or Flop on TV at home, I noticed that um, at certain angles, at certain times, it just caught my eye that Tarek had a lump on his throat. It turns out that Tarek had been struggling with throat issues and actually had stage 2 thyroid cancer. Tarek is now in remission and doing well. Cheaper by the dozen. Even though plenty of reality shows have a loose relationship with, well, reality, the auctions on Flip or Flop are actually real. Tarek said, Real estate auctions where we buy are real. I must have cashier's checks to buy cash. I lost a $20,000 check once, that was a nightmare. Sometimes Tarek and Christina get outbid, which you don't see on the show. The episodes are only 30 minutes, so they focus on which houses they actually do get. And they get a lot, because Tarek and Christina are always in the process of flipping multiple houses. Tarek said in 2013 that they'd closed on 14 houses to date and owned either 17 listed, under construction, or in escrow, and that they were on track to do 50 that year. That's a lot of flip-flopping. It was fate. With the continued success of the show, Tarek and Christina have also tacked on a spin-off, Flip or Flop, Selling Summer. This show focuses on backyard remodels, whether it's landscaping, new decks, or adding in a pool. If the couple keeps going the way they do, they might take over HGTV. And it's not like Tarek and Christina had lifelong dreams of being hosts of a hit show or anything. Tarek made an audition tape with the help of a friend and sent it in on a whim. Hey, what if I get us on TV? She looked at me and she said, you're crazy, go to bed. <laughs> sent an email, sent a video, I did all this stuff, I made her walk around and record me, and long story short, we got a TV. Not long after, he had a contract for 13 episodes of Flip or Flop. If you're ever considering sending out an audition tape for something, just do it. You could be the next HGTV star. Thanks for watching! Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too!